Afghanistan has the best jalgoza in the world. And Afghanistan's income from this dry fruit reaches millions of dollars. Afghanistan, home to the world's best jalgoza, is known as a hidden treasure. The pine nuts of this country in the southern and eastern regions produce valuable dry seeds called jalgoza, and by packing and sending them to the Chinese market, Afghanistan has earned billions of dollars in foreign exchange earnings. This valuable source of wealth is also transferred to neighboring countries, and Afghanistan has found a way to global markets for its products using air corridors. This product is a new and exciting option for the economic and commercial development of Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, there are trees from which edible and valuable seeds called jalgoza are harvested. The government of Afghanistan tries to collect and package this product in a suitable way to earn more than $1 billion of foreign exchange income from this product every year. The Afghan government has opened a special air corridor for the export of jalgoza to China, which is the largest buyer of this product. And every week, it exports 20 tons of pine nuts to China with the standard mark of Afghanistan. The market of China and India is important for Afghanistan. These two markets are sufficient for the export of dry fruits, vegetables, and fresh fruits of this country because by accessing this market, Afghanistan is connected with 2 billion and 300 million people. Jalgoza grows naturally in the southern and eastern provinces of Afghanistan, and its product called black pine nuts is obtained from larger pods. To harvest the pine nuts from the pods, they must be dried in front of the sun, or they are dried by lighting wood and heat. And after the outer wood of the pods is burnt, the pine nuts are removed by beating them. They do. This product, which is placed in the category of dried fruits, after harvesting without any processing, has a multiple value compared to any other dried fruit. This product, which is one of the forest and natural resources, can be propagated by seedling breeding and cuttings, but it often grows naturally in the forests without special care and cultivation, and the local people harvest it in the autumn season, they do. This product, which currently costs more than 2,000 Afghanis per kilogram, equivalent to $30, has a significant value compared to pistachio, which costs 800 Afghanis per kilogram in Afghanistan. According to some traders, the amount of its production in Afghanistan reaches more than 50,000 tons annually in the provinces of Khost, Paktia, Paktika, Kunar, Lagman, Nuristan, and Kapisa. It has the highest production. Before this, people in these provinces traditionally sold it to Pakistan after harvesting, and Pakistani businessmen exported it to European countries and China after packaging, where they get significant profit. The pine nuts of this country earn about $300 million for Afghanistan, $700 million for Pakistan, and more than $1 billion for China. Hazelnut has many benefits, which have been written about, among other things, that its oil is used to prevent blood fat, protect blood vessels, prevent heart attacks, strengthen sexual power, antioxidant, and contains vitamins A, E, B, and the most important properties of hazelnut. For health, it is known to help strengthen the body's general system. After transit problems with Pakistan in different seasons of the year, Afghanistan was facing challenges with the arrival of fresh fruits. Afghanistan tried to bring its fresh and seasonal fruits to the markets of regional countries and the world through air corridors. For this reason, a few years ago, for the first time, it opened an air corridor with India, which was then opened with Turkey, Kazakhstan, Europe, Arab countries. But these corridors were closed after the developments that occurred in Afghanistan, and currently, this corridor is open only with China. Afghanistan has exported fruits and dried fruits worth $60 million through air corridors. Afghanistan is a landlocked country and lacks a national railway. And land trade is the only major option in this country, which, due to four decades of war, does not have a proper road infrastructure for this option, and its government is trying to be able to, through air routes, will solve part of this problem. More than 6,000 tons of black pine nuts have been sent to the city of Shanghai, China through the air corridor. 
The presence of dense mountains of pine forests in the southern and southeastern parts of Afghanistan has caused this country to have great opportunities to harvest pine trees in the region. There are three Jalguza process companies in Kabul and Nangarhar provinces, which has facilitated work for about 500 of which more than 200 are women. Yalguza is considered a significant source of foreign exchange for Afghanistan. This dry fruit, by harvesting and exporting to China as the biggest market of the main buyer of this product, provides Afghanistan with more than $1 billion of foreign exchange income every year. This export operation to the markets of China and India not only strengthens the Afghan economy, but also increases the employment and economic prosperity of rural areas. Jalguza also have health benefits and are very useful for strengthening the general body system. This natural resource marks a new source of income and economic development for Afghanistan. To increase the production and export of pine nuts in Afghanistan, the government can train farmers to better manage their pine orchards and build more orchards. Also, proper packaging of products and good marketing can help promote products. Also, the development of export markets to other countries and research to improve the quality and productivity of pine nuts are also important. Supporting women farmers and promoting agricultural research can also help the country in increasing the production and value of pine nuts. Currently, with the opening of the air corridor between Afghanistan and China, 20 tons of pine nuts have been exported to China through Dubai, and this process continues as air corridors play a very vital role in bringing Afghanistan's products to global markets, the opening of this corridor will further strengthen the trade relations between Afghanistan and China and strengthen the production and processing of Afghanistan's pine nuts. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye until the next video.